Welcome back, kids. Today we are going to be sculpting with the crease brush. So let's go ahead and open up Blender if you haven't already. And if you haven't, shame on you. We should be designing every day. <laughs> Just kidding. But let's go ahead and open a file new general. And before we get too deep, let's go ahead and save it. Just to build good habits, we'll just name it crease. And go ahead and select your monkey. And if you want some mat caps, drop some mat caps on this monkey. And you know the drill. Add the multi-resolution and subdivide to your heart's desire or how far your computer can handle it. I'm going to take mine to maybe... Probably just five. And so now we're gonna switch this Suzanne into sculpt mode. You can do it up here, the old, slow, lazy way, or just do control tab down and swap into sculpt mode. And then what we're looking for here today is the crease brush. Look at us moving all the way down. We're almost quarter of the way. Here we go. So let's do crease. And notice we've got the radius and the strength and also the plus and minus. So you can use this brush in both directions. And with the tools over here, you have auto smooth and pinch. So, so this is how much the brush pinches and brings the crease together or apart. So when you just click and drag, notice that it's default set to minus, just like the photo here, it's actually going inward. So you can crease different parts of your design. And it's actually pinching, you know, they're slowly getting closer together. So you wanna be careful not to pinch, you know, not to go too far, where you know you're destroying your geometry or you're kind of overlapping the mesh on top of itself so you know make sure you're not doing that but what i want you to do for this lesson is just go around the edges of suzanne here and crease anything that you see that's kind of a soft edge i want you to just increase the the crease of it increase the crease that's what this lesson's about increasing our creases and so just go in here and just increase those creases, make them very sharp and prominent. That is the objective here today. And really, so this just gets you in mind, you know, if you're looking for this type of look or style or effect, that is what this brush is for. You can even do, you know, around the side of her head. It's gonna crease that in real nice. You know, really add some crazy details around. I'm just kind of almost think of it as like pushing in and pinching at the same time. So where else could we crease? Maybe inside the mouth here, go inside the mouth and kind of crease out you know, that right there. Really just make it very, you know, very strong creased edges. Notice that, that looks really cool. Wouldn't be very good for 3D printing. We'll probably need some supports, but that's not what this is about today. This is just about learning how to use the crease brush and getting kind of comfortable with it. So looky there, you can already see the mouth a little more popping. And then we could also do the plus side. So everything we've done so far is with the minus. Notice that's why it's been pushing everything in like that. But if we go on the other side of our face, we can do the plus, and now it's gonna make like little ridges on top of her hair. So it's kind of like the draw sharp, but it's actually like mushing in the, the clay or the geometry that's around that area, and it's kind of, stretching it in you can kind of see the geometry lines right here these kind of like diamond shapes it's actually like smushing it in and bringing it up like it's almost like it's building a little mountaintop a little a little ridge so this could be good for you know adding little little details to you know the top of her head there we could do it to kind of accentuate the eyebrow here so you know if we wanted to sharpen the eyebrow part right there we could do that, even around the top there. So a lot different than the other one. And notice I'm just holding and clicking and dragging, kind of going multiple times over the same area. And you can even change the shape of it. Like that last stroke I did, it made it really wiggly. Just undo that, you know, and just straighten it out. So it really does matter, you know, the, the way, you know, or how straight you do your lines here. So, you know, it does take practice, but all good things do so just kind of you know play with that and there we go look we've increased the sharpness and the crease around her eye there so already you can see it's way different you know, than the the subtraction side we could sharpen the part of her nose here but you get the idea so really what i want you to do is just start creasing things in the positive way 
and in the negative way. And, you know, just kind of really get a feel for what these, these creases can do. And I'm going to switch over to the negative here. And again, you can always do the same thing. So if you're in positive mode, you can hold control and that will do the, the inverse or the negative. Or if you have negative selected, you can do the opposite with control and it will do the opposite. So, you know, whatever you get comfortable with, I would suggest getting used to holding control. Um, it's very, very helpful. So I'm going to do subtraction here or minus and kind of crease the nose there. Uh, you know, sharpen that area around the nose. Go ahead and save since we're messing with a, almost a million polygons here. And that is just another good thing is just, you know, save as often as you can with sculpting because you are working with tons and tons and tons and tons of geometry, uh, you know, that we will later decrease. But, uh, you know, right now it can be pretty heavy unless you just have a, a monster, you know, a really powerful computer you want to save as often as you can. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm feeling good. If you're feeling good, let's go ahead and jump into the next brush, which is the smooth brush.